U.S.-backed Israeli genocide in Gaza enters day 230. Gaza, pick. As the U.S.-backed Israeli genocidal war on the Gaza Strip entered day 230 on Thursday, aerial and artillery strikes continued to pound and target different areas and massacre more civilians, especially in northern Gaza. Reporters for the Palestinian Information Center, PIC, said that the Israeli Occupation Army continued to bomb homes in different areas of Gaza during the past 24 hours, amid ongoing attacks in Rafah and Jabalia. According to media sources, Dia al Dinash Sharfa, deputy chief of the National Security Forces in Gaza, was martyred in an Israeli aerial attack in al Saraya area in Gaza City. Four other officers, who were with him, also suffered injuries. Three civilians were injured, one seriously, when the Israeli army bombed displaced families in the Ghazi Ashawa school in Beit Hanan, north of Gaza. Israeli gunboats also opened machine gun fire at fishermen off the shores of al Karara area, northwest of Khan Yunus, injuring two of them. Ten civilians were martyred, including a mother and five children, and many others were injured when the Israeli army bombed a mosque and a religious school sheltering families in al Daraj neighborhood in Gaza City. Sixteen other civilians were massacred, including ten children, when a five-story house was reduced to rubble in an Israeli airstrike in al Daraj neighborhood in Gaza City. A warplane also bombed an apartment near the Yarmouk soccer arena in Gaza City, killing and injuring a number of people. Meanwhile, Israeli soldiers set fire to shelter centers belonging to UNRWA in Al Fallujah area in Jabalia refugee camp, north of Gaza. Other casualties were reported in other areas of Gaza following Israeli aerial, artillery and shooting attacks last night and today.